at 8-2. and two, Both these players right now tied for sixth in the tournament. Jim Davis, of course, the 2015 Players' Champion. Something you might be wondering about with a lot of these Jeskai control decks, they play some number of oaths, maybe oath of Jace to combo with their Felidar Guardian. None of that in Parnell's list. And we start the game. Parnell on a five card hand, Jim on seven. So that's going to be difficult as Justin's on the play. Uh, especially in this kind of matchup, I think the di what he'll have to watch out for is can he hit his land drops? Right. Land drops are crucial in any of these Glimmer of Genius mirrors. Getting to seven mana is often very important, being able to cast Glimmer and Disallow in the same turn. Well, so far, so good for Parnell. It looks like he's got two lands in play and numbers three and four already in the hand. And if Parnell he needs to take some turns to set up, Jim doesn't have too many ways to punish him. There's no early drop creature. You know, there's not going to be a Glint Sleeve Siphoner or something that, that mm. gets Jim extra cards. Jim does not win fast games. It's just not what his deck is here to do. And Justin Parnell end step anticipate finds a copy of Glimmer of Genius. And then he draws blue Gear Hulk for the turn. So yes, he's on five cards, but he's got a plan for coming back. Yeah. His hand is lands four, five, Glimmer, and Gear Hulk. But that's pretty great. And now here's his first chance. Uh, he has land four, and he can decide to main phase the, the Glimmer to get around Disallow or end step. It looks like he'll go ahead and just pass, looking for the end step. Mm -hmm. And he would be playing into Negate notably. I don't know if he has been reading Jim's articles. Jim does have three main deck Negates. End step Glimmer. Does Jim have the counter? Let's see. You know, Jim's hand, look at this here. We have two Fatal Pushes and I think two Grasp of Darknesses. So the answer is no. Glimmer of Genius resolves. Whether or not you fight over Glimmer is actually a really interesting cons uh, decision. Considering that Parnell is on four lands and has Mulligan twice, that is very inviting to fight over the counter spell, or the, the, the draw spell. Right. You don't always in these kind of matchups, just because you only have so many counter spells and they only have so many spells that can actually kill you. But here, I think this was a pretty good window to fight it if Jim had it. The draw is a Sahili and a counter spell for Parnell, so despite being on five cards, he may have more live spells right now than Jim Davis. He'll go for Sahili Rai. If Glimmer resolved, why not Sahili? And yeah, Jim's hand of Grasp, Murder, and two Fatal Pushes is looking really poor right now. He has a lot of answers to Felidar Gar Guardian. So he's not dead to the combo, but this Sahili is probably going to be sticking around for a while. Yeah, it's going to stick around. And on top of that, Jim had a Jace he may have wanted to try for. Uh, and now by doing that, he would be dead to Felidar Guardian. It's probably just something he can't do. Right. Gonna have to wait until he has a lot of lands. Whoa, and for Jim, he does not, speaking of a lot of lands, Jim is actually the first one to miss a land drop. On his turn, he moves to clean up and discards a fatal push. So it's looking like Jim has a hand that'd be really good against something like the green-black deck. Just, right. And just is not lining up here. Parnell pulls ahead on lands as Sahili continues to scry. For Jim, no lands on the way, draws a blue gear hulk, says go. Parnell... Now really threatening to run away with this, he's going to play Torrential Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk for Glimmer is a really big game in these blue mirrors. Yeah, Gear Unstep Gear Hulk for Glimmer is big. Justin Parnell next turn can copy the Gear Hulk if it survives. Mm -hmm. I, I would assume. I mean, Jim's got a lot of removal, so the Gear Hulk's probably dead. But Justin's going to draw cards. Mm -hmm. This is a tough spot because, you know, Jim is going to be dead to a Felidar Guardian if he has to, you know, use his removal spells, all of his mana on this Gear Hulk, but he's pretty dead to just Gear Hulk copy Gear Hulk. Yeah, so if he cats murder on the Gear Hulk, the problem is Parnell gets a glimmer of genius to find one Felidar Guardian to win. Uh, not really into that. Mm -hmm. But if he lets Gear Hulk survive and Justin goes for a minus two on the Gear Hulk, I mean, that's no good either. It looks like the Glimmer will resolve. Spell Queller and land. Parnell wants neither. Mm -hmm. Draws Fumigate land. And now Jim does go for the murder. He'll leave himself dead to the Felidar Guardian if Justin can produce one. Well, and he draws it. <laughs> and there is the 1 4 and the combo. Jim, yeah, a bunch of removal cells. Those are not going to help him. Justin Parnell takes the first game. Yeah, Jim, uh, again, he had the draw that would have been really good against Winding Constrictors. Really bad against Glimmer of Genius Torrential Gear Hulk. Wow. So, Jim Davis in a one-game 
pull here. Now, it, Ren, I gotta say, he had a lot of dead cards that game. Yes. And I have to think he's gonna improve a lot on sideboarding. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go over to sideboard and look at what he's got. Sure. Uh, so for Jim Davis, we have three Dispel, two Deadweight, two Fathom Feeder, two Ruinous Path, a Blighted Cataract, a Fatal Push, a Kalidus Trader get, a Negate, a Sphinx of the Final Word, and a Two of the Slaughter. There's a lot to like here. Yes. Uh, neg negate is excellent. It, it can counter Glimmer, it can counter Saheeli Rai. This card's quite good. It can fight a Counter War. Two of the Slaughter is a great answer to the combo, or it can take care of a Trench of Gear Hulk that snuck through. Sphinx of the Final Word is quite good if the matchup is just control, given that Parnell yeah. is a combo deck. It's not going to be nearly as good in this kind of matchup. Tapping that much mana for Sphinx is a little tough. Once you get to nine mana, and you have Sphinx plus Negate, it's a little bit different, so there's an argument for bringing that in. Very likely that Jim is bringing in this Blighted Cataract, largely because it's another land. Yeah. And he just doesn't <laughs> ever want to miss a land drop, and it can also break up the combo or kill a Torrential Gear Hulk. I'm curious to see if Jim brings in Fathom Feeder. Yeah, so Fathom Feeder is this interesting card that we, we really haven't seen too much of. Um, but it's the two mana, one, one, and for five mana, he draws a card. Yes. And so he can do all his card draw on end step. If Jim really just wants to play draw, go. Fathom Feeder is great. Yeah, it's likely that Parnell doesn't want any removal spells post sideboard against Jim, so the Fathom Feeder can potentially sneak in and really shine in that situation. And then this, the Dispels, Jim is likely expecting to fight Counter Wars, so Dispels should be coming in as well. Yeah, so we're basically, these fatal pushes, they're gone. Uh, murder is gone. He's upgrading some of his removal spells and getting a lot of counters. Jim's going to gain a lot. Reasonable chance that Murder is staying in, because it can kill Torrential Gilhark and for Fellow okay. Guardian. Fair enough. Uh, Justin Parnell's sideboard, two negates of his own and a dispel of his own, so probably using that to fight the counter war. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he has and some interesting kinds of threats. A Nahiri, he's got three Elder Deep Fiends, a Barrel's Expertise, two Chandras. How many of much of this does he want? So Elder Deep Fiend is really interesting in Parnell's deck because he does not really have much in the way of enabling the emerge. So he's like playing it for eight? Seems like it's going to cost eight a lot of the time, but even at eight mana, I don't hate this card in this matchup. No, I mean, what, you can end step it on eight, tap Jim out or tap him low, and then go for the combo. Like, this sets up a great counter war in mm -hmm. a really weird way. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how Elder Deep Fiend plays out yeah. here. Um, the Planeswalkers, the Nahiri is just excellent as a value Planeswalker. Uh, you can find your Torrential Gear Hulks. Uh, the card's very powerful in these kind yeah. of matchups. I guess if Jim, Jim doesn't have any cards like Transgress to take care of Elder Deep Fiend, Justin could sit on that for a while. Yeah. I uh, like uh, Justin's t Chandra Torch of Defiance a good amount. Both can accelerate his mana to have more mana to combo plus sure. leave up counters. Uh, it'll come in nicely here if Jim has Fathom Feeder. You can just kill that <laughs> one and not have to worry about your Chandra being attacked in any capacity. Yeah, we'll see how it plays that out. Both players are going to go more toward counter spells and I guess, like, Planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. uh, they get ready for the second game. Over at Star City Games, we, of course, have had game night going for over a year now. Those are... Ex Basically, just tournaments run near you. We're starting giving away exclusive pins and tokens every week. So for January, we're giving away the Squeaky Cheeky Acorn Breaker pin and token you see here. February, this is going to be next, just starting next week, you can get your hands on the Corgi Firewalker. It's everyone's, it's this, uh, our pro red pup here. And now we can debut the March promotion is going to be the Delve card from Cons. Of course, it's Pig Through Time, all of these part of the creature collection. Pig Through Time is the goat. This is just the greatest. Ah, no, it's a pig. Oh, yeah, but also it's a goat. <laughs> now, this card is excellent. So if you get signed up now, you can go online to find a store near you, and if you're a store owner, you can get signed up in time for the March promotion. All of that available at starcitygames.com slash game night. And that last game, a convincing win for Parnell, despite being on a mulligan to five. Jim's hand really did not come together. Mm -hmm. Missing land drops in these mirrors is really bad. Not having enough interaction to deal with two things, also really bad. And Parnell will be back to the mulligans. Did not hurt him last time, though. Mm -hmm. For Jim Davis, 2015, he was the player's champion. The captain of Team Metagame Guru is also one of the more popular streamers now over on Twitch. For the 32-year-old from the New York area, he has 11 open top eights along with two wins, three invitational top eights, and then, of course, I mentioned his win at the Players' Championship, the second one in Roanoke. Quite the pedigree for Jim Davis. And a good weekend again for the Metagame Gurus. Jim at 8-2, and two. teammate Dan Jessup 9-1 and one in a five-way tie for first. Uh, Dan uh, was the only metagame guru not to make the Players' Championship last year, and he's looking to have a good year. You know, he w wants to uh, outperform his team for sure. 
All right, Parnell keeping on six as we're on to the second game. And you see Parnell scrying just a land to the top, once again, just prioritizing those so highly. And for Jim, if they have come in out of the sideboard, a turn two copy of Fathom Feeder. I like it. I'd like it, and I'm not sure that Justin has many ways to answer this card. I don't know how many he's left in. Justin has left in Spell Queller. Okay, so it could block. Jim will get to ingest cards off Justin's library. That's <laughs> one of the mechanics from Battle for Zendikar. Jim actually doesn't utilize that at all, but <laughs> one damage and he'll exile a card off Justin's deck. Something that is neat. Oh, okay. <laughs> so two <laughs> things that are neat, I guess. So Justin's not playing a lot of Torrential Gear Hulks. There's only two in the deck, and one of them just got that exiled. That may be the best card he could hit. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is, if you're able to connect with the Fathom Theater and it exiles a Sahili Rai or a Felidar Guardian, you get, yeah. that, you get that information on whether the combo is still in Parnell's deck. Won't get the other blue gear hulk. Justin Parnell did draw it off the Anticipate. That's always a strategy with milling, right? You mill their good cards so they can't draw them. Yeah. Third land for Parnell as we go back to Jim. Uh, Jim has to respect Spell Queller as a surprise blocker now. Well, he does have Death Touch, so he at least gets a trade. Yeah, he's going to jump, throw that blocker in. And Jim still has Grasp of Darkness in the deck, takes care of Spell Queller. One more damage to Parnell. Gets a copy of Negate. Now, Jim's hand pretty good here. He has a Negate back up in his hand. And next turn he has five mana, so we're really going to get to see Fathom Feeder in action. Mm -hmm. Remember, its ability for five mana, Jim just Jim draws a card. Slightly less mana efficient Demir Guild Mage. Yeah, but Demir Guild Mage was with sorcery. sorcery speed. That's that's night and day with this sort of effect. Azure Mage was instant, right? Yes, Azure Mage okay. was instant. Well, speaking of instant speed card draw, Justin's gonna go for Glimmer of Genius on Dim Jim's end step. He could negate, but he costs himself a card by negating here. Yeah, it's gonna be a question of just how much interaction Jim has. And nice. Jim's just going to let that resolve. Now, Ryan, we didn't actually see an attack with Fathom Feeder this turn. I suppose there was four mana up. He didn't want to run it into another Spell Queller. That's got to be the uh, argument here. Jim wants this thing to stick around. Now that he has five mana, he can start drawing cards. Yeah, this is going to be really good. This should signal to Parnell that Jim doesn't have removal spells, though. Parnell is not or, yet in the range where he has enough lands to untap and well, cast both combo pieces. Actually, if Jim had a removal spell, he may not attack anyway, right? Because by playing it, he'd be costing himself the card draw, and what's one damage anyway? That's a good point. End step. Jim's going to draw a card. And Parnell looks like he's missed his fifth land drop. Ooh. Jim stuck on four last game. That ended up hurting him very strongly. And now Jim just going to draw cards, plays land six. He's got two blue gear hulks in his hand. Um, you see land go. I love the play style that's going on here. Yes. Jim's hand lands eight, seven, five cards. He has land number seven, land number eight, two torrential gear hulks, and a negate. And you see Parnell just end stepping a spell queller. At, Jim will let that happen all yeah, day. No reason to fight over that. Second Sahili Rai is the draw for Parnell. So Parnell's hand's having the opposite problem. He's got Elder Deep Fiend, Torrential Gear Hulk, Disallow, two Sahili Rise, Felidar Guardian. He's got the whole combo. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned, in these control mirrors, it's the lands that are the most important thing. Yeah, like Disallow is nice if Jim has some reason to cast his Torrential Gear Hulk, but once he gets in the range where he can Gear Hulk plus Counterspell, you need more than just one Disallow. Felidar Guardian, the play for Parnell. Just going to run out the one for Jim actually does not. If he wants to answer this, he'd have to Gear Hulk that Grasp of Darkness. I'd be pretty okay with doing that. I also like drawing a card. Drawing a card is nice. Drawing a card's so good. <laughs> Justin getting another energy up Aether Hub. Passes. We'll see. Did Jim want a card? Uh, no. It is important to make land drops, but Jim has two more lands in hand, which means he doesn't have spells in those slots. So right. being proactive with the Gear Hulk makes a lot of sense. And he will. End step Gear Hulk. Grasp of Darkness on the Guardian. And now, actually, Jim gets a clock. Gear Hulk will, can start attacking for five. Mm -hmm. And as Jim has land seven, he can start leaving up Negate and Fathom Feeder in the same turn. Yes. Parnell back to a six-card hand. He does draw his land for the turn. Make that a still six cards. He had seven. 
We've got an Elder Deep Fiend in hand, and he could emerge it. Two Sahili Rise, a Blue Gear Hulk, a Counter Spell, and a Felidar Guardian. So Gear Hulk is pretty effective if Parnell's in a position to try to shove the combo through. Just playing on the table against Torrential Gear Hulk, it just bounces. The counter spells in Justin's hand, the issue here is when you're behind on mana, it feels like he can't, you know, disallow not looking good at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be Sahili Rai for Parnell. He's got a negate to back it up, so he's playing that one on five mana. Jim's going to fight. He'll negate. Justin likely to negate back here. Mm -hmm. And he will. And then after that, Jim probably lets it go and draws a card. Yeah, well, I don't even think... Uh, Jim doesn't have a choice, right? His hand is land and gear hulk. Right. I mean, I think even if he had the choice, though... Oh, yeah, even if he had another counter spell, that, yeah, this would be fine. Gear hulk just attacks Sahili. I mean, You're right, yeah. That's not even bad. I mean, it, it will... You know, eat the spell queller if the Sahili matters. Jim does have to find some interaction. You know, there's some ways where this game can go very badly from here. So it's Fathom Feeder again, a card in exile. Jim drawing a dispel. Okay, so now he has Gear Hulk for negate plus dispel backup. Uh, you can't negate Felidar Guardian. So right, if Parnell just casts Felidar Guardian, well, I was going to say Jim would be dead to that, but now draws to the slaughter. It was a, that was a good pickup. Well, and that's what I like about this blue black deck. So many of his cards are just generic answers to things like you know to the slaughter and that answers most things uh negate disallow so torrential gear hulk is going to attack sahili rai and jim using his his advantage on the board really to just get extra cards here you know he's going to get this spell queller for free yep or he'll get the sahili rai for free even better yeah right you know, now he's there, play a land, say go. Land six for Parnell. He now is in his own Gearhulk territory. Jim just two lands off of double Fathom Feeder activation. Oh, wow. I, I, can, o I can only wish. <laughs> Here's another Fathom Feeder. This is the third card Jim has drawn off Fathom Feeder. I like this technology a lot. Yeah, this is already looking really good. And you see no one step to the slaughter. He'll just take another turn. Untaps, draws Ruinous Path. I was wondering if some of those were still in. Looking very good here. And most importantly, Jim's making more land drops. Land number nine, and he has the 10th in hand. Yeah, Jim in a pretty commanding position here. Yeah. I want to see this. Now you've got me. I'm just focused on these two activations of Fathom Feeder. Just, oh, wow. That's just, that's everything I want to be doing right now. Pretty much. I've registered as your maid. Tap 10, draw 2, draw like, I don't know, Negate and Ruinous Path. That sounds good. I can, that covers most things. <laughs> Jim's hand is a, just this cast of really good answers to cards. Justin Parnell is going to go for a Torrential Gear Hulk. The one thing Jim does not have is a hard counter yet. Mm -hmm. So Torrential Gear Hulk resolves. He doesn't have a way to answer it. It looks like Ick's going to go for Glimmer of Genius. As a Torrential Gear Hulk is wont to do. But this isn't even that bad, right? Jim can just block. The if we get into this, uh, we're looking like we're in a real control fight now. And as long as Justin's not killing Fathom Feeder, I'd be really surprised if he can win this game. Right. You know, and Jim, I like this. He dispels the glimmer of genius, letting the Gear Hulk resolve. So the glimmer is still exiled. And Jim made no attack here. Torrential Gear Hulk definitely on his radar. The double block would force him to use some of this removal spells, and he's just really not on board with that just yet. Yes, yeah, so we counters the card draw. Because Jim wants to what? He wants to play a card economy game, right? Jim trades one card for Justin's one card. Jim taps Fathom Peter. This is good. Yep. Uh, a 5-6, I mean, that's fine. Jim has a kill spell in hand. He could take a hit of five for a bit. Like, this is, these are all okay things. Mm -hmm. Sahili Rai the play for Parnell. And now we'll see if Jim wants to fight. He's got To the Slaughter and Torrential Gear Hulk. He's going to go for Torrential Gear Hulk. 
you certainly don't want Sahili to copy Torrential Gear Hulk. Well, it's going to disallow is the play by Parnell. He catches Jim's Gear Hulk. And so Sahili Rai resolves. Because just had to play a counter spell, it's, we're not worried about Felidar Guardian just yet. It is fortunate that that Glimmer was exiled, so the Gear Hulk's only going to be able to get back. Uh, anticipate, I believe, is in the graveyard. Yeah, anticipate and some counter spells. But even just anticipating for free is not bad. Interesting one here, Ryan. Because that Gear Hulk was countered, Jim now has Artifact, Creature, and Instant in the graveyard. I believe his hand is to the Slaughter Ruinous Path, so... Can I clean this board up yes, nicely. Yeah, he can get the delirium going on to the slaughter. Kill one of your creatures, make you sacrifice your other two non-land permanents. A uh, creature and or planeswalker? Mm, or maybe both. I and like, I like I'm, the and. I'm feeling both. Yeah. And Justin actually did not copy Gearhulk. He used the Sahili Ride to scry. So we go back over to Jim Davis. Four cards remaining in hand. Does have those two those two cards, the ruinous path and the to the slaughter. I suppose he can get even more value, right? If he ruins paths the Gear Hulk and just attacks Sahili, then then Justin's in that spot again where Jim just gets free free value. Jim's thinking a little bit bigger. Oh, are we awakening this <laughs> land? Oh well, you're right. This is this is great. If you awaken the swamp, you will get Sahili Rai. Yes. So it makes the Swamp into a 4-4. Everything comes at Sahili Rai. Planeswalker is going to go down. He is going shields down here, though. He does not if, have the mana to cast to the Slaughter here. Yeah, if Justin just has both parts of the combo. Well, Jim has one blue card in hand we're not sure of. He's got okay. to the Slaughter. Parnell is certainly not looking like he has it. Yeah, Deep Fiend. I think he has Guardian Deep Fiend. Yeah, we'll play a land. Can say go. He could still, if he draws Sahili, could set up that end step tap Jim low with Deep Fiend. Yeah. <laughs> but now, you know, Jim's got 10 power on the board. Um, he made, he took a risk by awakening Ruinous Path, but now that the risk paid off, uh, the game could be over quickly. Right. Which means we're not going to see two Fathom Feeder activations, which I'm kind of sad about. And I believe horribly awry the counter spell in Jim's hand. And yeah, Glimmer of Genius horribly awry into the slaughter are his last three cards. Just looks pretty good. Jim checks, wants to know the graveyard, just in case another Torrential Gear Hulk is in Parnell's hand. Wants to just how bad will things be? Most of these Jeskai Sahili decks are just playing two Torrential Gear Hulk. Right, and Jim's gotten, remember, he has to remember he exiled one of them with Fathom Feeder. It's definitely inside the realm of possibility that somebody just plays another copy or even just sideboards a third copy in for matchups like this. Right. I think a fourth one would be unlikely, but a third is fine. <laughs> I mean, Jim's got four. <laughs> Jim plays a safe. He's not going to swing the four four. It does not want to give that to, to a Gear Hulk. So Parnell will go to eight. Yeah, I mean, the attack's not lethal anyway. And it means we're leaving up 10 mana, Ryan. I like it. I'm <laughs> I wonder what we could do with that number. <laughs> Land number eight for Parnell. He passes. Let's just, let's just draw some cards. Let's just, just more. More cards sounds great. Here's one off Fathom Feeder. And I like it when you have Glimmer of Genius in your hand and you just don't play it. Just, just, just all right. Yes, mission accomplished. Five, we've now drawn five cards off Fathom Feeder, MVP of the game. And when you right draw there. Fathom right Feeder, there. you also exile the top card of your opponent's library, and there goes Elder Deep Fiend. So now Jim now Davis knows. knows that those yeah. are in the deck. You know, the problem is Fathom Feeder is so good that it's making cards like Blighted Cataract just, just look irrelevant. <laughs> Why would I ever sack my land when I could just have a card? <laughs> Gearhawk hits again. Now, it's looking like this game is going to go to Jim Davis, and he'll have drawn five to seven cards off Fathom Feeder. Okay, if you're in Justin Parnell's spot, you, gotta, you have to address this when you go to game three, right? Like... I mean, your cards that are good against Fathom Feeder are bad against everything else Jim is doing. 
It's kind of a hard spot. I, I could see I agree, having yeah, some like, small number of harness lightning. Um, you can glimmer and make enough energy to kill a torrential gear hulk with that one. So Jim attacks. Uh, Parnell is going to play Elder Deep Fiend, tapping some of Jim's mana. Tapping. He tried to get him all the way off black mana, but that one's not possible. Can tap him down to two swamps. Jim will float the mana and cast Glimmer of Genius. Getting Disallow and Swamp. Uh, I mean, he's, just, he, he's got him covered with a lot of counter spells here. Yeah. I suppose the, he draws two disallows. Well, Deep okay. Fiend is not yet resolved. Okay. So that one so should be not gonna. still disallowable. Or, you know, you could even let it resolve. Yeah. Right? Those are both fine plays. I probably let it resolve. Ah, uh, yes. Good. He did. Big fan. Blocked it. Jim's, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just sit here on disallow, disallow horribly awry, and, and we'll see if you can win the game through that. Yeah, Parnell was only drawing up to his second card in hand. It's going to be pretty tough to beat two counter spells. Spell Queller is the swings, and now Parnell will play Felidar Guardian. That is a four mana one four. And Jim will exile it horribly awry. Conveniently has five more lands left untapped. We may just get card, card number six off this Fathom Feeder. Oh, yeah, there we go. X. We're going to mill them. That's our plan. What it, That would be the win con I want is if I activate Fathom Feeder enough times, maybe I can I can exile your deck. I guess I'll draw mine at the same speed. So <laughs> so I need like one, one mill card. These decks are very light on win conditions. It's definitely possible to kill all of their win. To, to, to mill out, to mill their win cons? It's not something that's like going to come up very often. Frequently what happens is one player just ends up pulling ahead on cards, as you saw Jim Davis do in that game. Once you're ahead on cards, you're going to be able to counter their stuff yeah. that kills your threats if it matters. Right, like if I've drawn enough cards off Fathom Feeder that I'm milling most of your win cons, I bet you've lost. Yeah. All right, like that was, we saw Jim draw six off of Fathom Feeder that game. You know. It's going to be the odd game where somehow both players are able to <laughs> generate a lot of extra cards. Yeah. And then... If we have dueling Fathom Feeders or exactly. something like that. If both players are resolving Torrential Gear Hulks and then immediately having them killed. This sounds great. And they just have seven cards in hand I and they're wanna... passing back and forth. <laughs> just some good, honest magic. I want to play this. I want to play this game you're describing. This sounds great. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to the sideboards. So if Parnell wants to try to answer Fathom Feeder because that the card really did a number on him. Um, he doesn't actually have much on the sideboard that can answer it. He's probably looking at something in the main deck. It's likely Harness Lightning. I don't know if it's all four. Yeah. Uh, that seems heavy-handed. But the, the entire argument is that Harness Lightning can sometimes get Torrential Gear Hulk. Tr Declaration in Stone is not going no, to be good in do that. games that go this long. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty sure that Harness Lightning is the answer. What about something like Chandra? You know, he has some in the sideboard. That's not a horrible card to bring in. And Chandra was one that I was kind of expecting anyway. Uh, we didn't see one in game one. That does not mean it's not in the deck. Uh, right. I, I definitely like it, especially now that you've seen Fathom Feeder. Well, that much makes sense. And you did see Parnell going back to his sideboard there. He put a, switched just a couple of cards. So maybe some of the removal he, as a nod to the 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Over at StarCityGames.com, we have our newsletter. That's, of course, the free publication. It happens every week. You get highlights from our most recent events. So the match of the week is available there. Maybe see some of the coverage from this weekend. You also get to learn about game nights, invitational qualifiers, and up to upcoming SCG tour dates, and then some exclusive advice from the top players on the tour. All that is now free, so there's no reason not to. StarCityGames.com slash newsletter. Mm -hmm. Different featured writer every month. Always great content in the newsletter. It's free. Game number three between Parnell and Jim Davis. You know, and it is often the kind of, in these matchups, what we've seen so far is the first player to miss a land drop has lost both games. Land drops are paramount. Um, frequently in matchups like this, you'll even want to take the draw just to make sure you can keep up on that. The combo convolutes that a little bit. Uh, the fact that Jim Davis really wants to cast Fathom Feeder on turn two yeah, I kind of lose that a little bit. If Jim's on the when Jim's on the draw, what negate is his only way to interact with Sahili. Yeah. So there may be he may not want to do that. What I do like about Jim's deck though is between cards like Ruinous Path, Negate to the Slaughter, like he just has a lot of answers. You yes, know? he he could take the draw and be okay. Mm -hmm. There's just trade lands to start for Jim. It's Fathom Feeder again. All right, this won him the last game. 
I was wondering if we saw Harness Lightning from Parnell. No, but we will see an Anticipate. Yeah, not seeing any red cards in his holdings. Now, picks up a Sahili Rai. If only that could deal a damage to a creature. <laughs> That'd be... <laughs> well, that card would actually that, just be absurd. That, yeah, I feel like that. We, this, we would have seen a lot more play Probably that would have been played before the combo. Sahili, though. Justin will take the negate free turn to cast Sahili. Plus one it to Scry. Deal one to Jim. Card stays on top. Now, Fathom Feeder is not going to become a problem until turn five. So Justin's got a few more turns to find a way to kill it. Right. Ruinous Path hits Sahili, and I like this from Jim. And Justin, you know, Justin scried a card to the top. Yep. So now Jim ingests it, and you see Glimmer of Genius is gone. Just something you used to see a lot in standard with Night Vale Spectre. Scrying was pretty awkward against that card. Fourth land from Parnell. We'll see if he has another Glimmer. He, want, he wanted the first. I don't think he's going to get that one. Now Jim, he's going to just be happy to trade some land drops. Jim has a Glimmer of his own. And not attacking in the Spell Queller. Yeah. This Fathom Feeder draws cards. I like that. Feldar guarding the pickup for Parnell. Says go. Jim's going to try to draw some cards. And it looks like that's going to work. Parnell has negate and disallow, but choosing not to fight over draw spells. Yeah, with Jim already having access to the Fathom Feeder, keeping up on card advantage is going to be tough in the first place. And if he's light on interaction, using it on the draw spell, not always where you want to be. Fifth land for Davis. Kept both cards on top with the Glimmer of Genius. Picking up a Ruinous Path on another land. Jim very wisely just prioritizing lands here. Yes. Boards up to 28 of them. <laughs> That's so many. So. <laughs> End step. Fathom Feeder. Activation by Jim. This is a window where Parnell could blue gear Hulk. He's not going to do it. So the count, the Fathom Feeder count now at one for Jim. Mm -hmm. And I love this. Just, yeah, as long as he's got that card online, he's just not going to do anything. Torrential gear Hulk from Justin Parnell. Will Jim fight over this one? He's got the cards to do it. And he will disallow. Anticipate was in the graveyard, so Jim not wanting to give Parnell the two for one. Yeah, and even though the Fathom Feeder has Death Touch, Jim doesn't want to make that trade. The Fathom Feeder is worth a lot more than a Torrential Gear Hulk once it's on the table, which is oh, funny wow. to say, but yeah? it's, it's just true. Seventh land from Parnell and no play. Jim will do the same. His hand here is so strong, though. Disallow. Two disallows. Looks like. A torrential gear hulk. A horribly awry. Two ruinous paths. Not only does he have all these great cards, he's not even going to cast any of them. Well, Jim's going to draw up to a full grip. Parnell, I believe, four cards in his hand. Jim's just running away with this one. Fathom Feeder count at two. Jim draws a land and then another land. This is great. Just plays some merged boneyard, says go. Pretty soon Jim's going to be at the stage where he's going to have nine cards in his hand. He's going to make a land drop. And then he's going to attack with the Fathom Feeder because he wants to use a removal spell instead of discarding it. Gross. I, li I mean, great. It's nice. Yeah, Jim has eight cards in hand, so here's, here's Fathom Feeder attacking, yeah. Parnell does have a lot of plays. He has Elder Deep Fiend in hand. He could go for a block. Jim's hand's so good right now. Two disallows, negate, horribly awry, so four counter spells. Glimmer of Genius. If I'm in Jim's side, I almost want to negate this, Ryan, just because I don't want to so discard. Much, he has so much interaction. I like a negate quite a lot here. Well, if I don't, I'm maybe just, what if, if I let Justin draw cards and then he doesn't do anything else, then I have to discard. Yeah. So I don't want to, and I hate discarding. Discarding's lame. That's card disadvantage. I want to draw a lot of cards and 
cast yeah. enough of them where I don't have to discard them. I want to draw cards and cast all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cast a non-zero number. So negate hits the Glimmer of Genius. The Fathom Beater ingests a card off Justin's deck. And then we just say go. Seven cards in hand still for Jim Davis. So be on note here, right? If you're going to play a control mirror, uh, Fathom Feeder is a card. Yeah. And <laughs> you got to kill that thing or, or this happens. Jim's third card off Fathom Feeder this game gets a Blighted Cataract. And another Fathom Feeder. Sure, maybe we'll start ingesting the whole deck. <laughs> Justin's down to 17, gets the top card of his deck. And with Jim drawing the second Fathom Feeder, you kind of see why the number is limited to two. The second copy doesn't really do anything unless the first copy dies. Yeah, well, I mean, that's like the Gideon problem, right? If you, if you have too many Gideons in hand, the that Gideon, means your Gideon on board isn't dead. The Gideon problem solves itself. You just emblem one and then cast another one. He was talking about that, was it? The seven Jace decks. Four Mind Sculptors, three Bellerins. You'd be like, why do you play so many Jaces? They're legendary. It means it's because I always have Jason play them. Well, the rule was different. You could use Jace Bellerin to destroy Jace the Mind Sculptor. He was a then. kill spell. Yeah, that's right. true. Because your opponent was also playing Jace. Right. End step from Parnell will be an eight mana Elder Deep Fiend. Targeting looks to be four of Jim's lands. And this is where Jim's got to be careful, right? Because Justin is probably setting up. To combo. Yeah, this is actually a slightly precarious spot for Jim. Um, he casts the Fathom Feeder, so now he only has eight lands up. Some of those situations where the right play, you think, was just to discard the Fathom Feeder? Well, the right play from here might be to disallow the Elder Deep Fiend trigger so that he can leave up horribly awry and disallow. Right, you can counter the trigger instead of the 5-6. That's It's strange when a trigger is tapping four of your lands to be like, no, no, I'll tap three of them to keep my last land. Right. But... I kind of like it. So there's a disallow. We'll find out if it's on the trigger. And, or you are right. Yeah. It is on the trigger. OK. Yeah, just wants to keep up this interaction so he's not cold to the combo. Yeah, Parnell only has three cards in hand. So if he has the combo with double counter spell backup, it would win here. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot of mana to have. Yeah, and with a DP on the table, that's pretty much OK, because Jim has a redundant Fathom Feeder with Death Touch to block it. Oh, they have Death Touch? Oh, yeah, they do have Death Touch. That card does so many things. Yeah, wow. Second second line. You might think this card has flavor text. <laughs> does Justin know that? He's attacking. I forgot it. I would have definitely just attacked into it. OK, no, no, Justin knew. Makes the trade. He's just running out of cards. Justin down to three cards in hand. Yep. And one of them is fell at our guardian. Oh, we're going to back card number four off Fathom Feeder. We're at the, that 10 land mark again. <laughs> and Jim, yeah, negate, land. This is just, he's just got it all. There's so much of a temptation just to play a blue gear hulk because I don't want to discard them. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> no, en ending the game with gear hulks in your hand is the it's best so feeling. That's yeah. the best feeling. No, you're right. I don't like trying to win, but the part I'd be scared of is like, I just don't, I don't want to discard them. I don't like discarding my cards. That's, that's for me the struggle, is right? Like, yeah. I don't want to discard these. They're all, they're my friends. Jim's like, been doing a good job of not having to discard. He has seven excellent spells in his hand currently. <laughs> he has two ruinous paths. He's got multiple, what, two nurse paths, uh, two gear hulks. Okay, he's going to play a gear hulk on Justin's end step. Speed up the clock a little bit. I suppose there's a glimmer of genius in the yard. Justin will disallow. You can fight or not. This kind of doesn't yeah, I don't matter. Know. Sure. I mean, I think anything that encourages a one-for-one -one trade is probably good for Jim. Yeah. He has enough mana and enough cards where he can just fight over this. And negate from Jim, negate from Parnell. But the, right. So if these are all cards that are trading, all these counter spells. Uh, well, that's fine by Jim. He'll trade, and then he'll draw some more. And disallow back. And on top of that, he's going to win the counter war, it looks like. Yeah, and the, Parnell just doesn't have enough cards to keep up with this. Yeah. And now he's going to fall even farther behind. Glimmer of Genius from Jim Davis. Two Grasp of Darkness says, not interested in those. How about another Negate, though? He'll draw that and a land. I'm pretty sure those are both winners. Yes. And another land. Swing for six from Davis puts Parnell down to 11. Twelve. 
12 lands now in play for Jim Davis. Just passes. Parnell, three cards. Picks up a land, I think. Yeah. Nahiri. This is his last real card. Once Jim counters this, Parnell's playing off the top of the deck. And this is another thing. Jim can counter it or choose not to counter it. He still has two ruinous paths in his hand. He could negate. He's just going to play Torrential Gear Hulk and negate it that way. Seems better. And now he has lethal attackers. Followed our guardian. That one's going to get countered and ruinous or path. ruinous path, whatever. Horribly awry. And Jim, commanding fashion. He wins that one in three. Um, I mean, it, Fathom Feeder. When Jim wins both sideboard games, the turn two Fathom Feeder that just runs away with the game. Yeah, Parnell had some tools that did upgrade his deck going into the sideboard, but post sideboard with Parnell still trying to execute the combo and Jim being both very heavy on interaction and heavy on card advantage, he made that look pretty easy actually. And Jim, Jim's deck just looks like a great call for this weekend. Yeah, it looks like a great call. 